We are um, a community-led yet clinically approved resource. So we bring together the community and clinicians into one space to make sure that we're providing education that not only is clinically accurate, but also is uh, built by the community. So we very tightly co-design everything we do with different members of the community and clinicians together. Um, so there's a quality cycle to what we do that's kind of different to maybe what's out there already. Um, and really happy to share this today um, and share our learning. And, um, and if there's uh, any collaborations, then we'd be more than happy to support you um, in the future. So we have um, many people collaborating with DigiBeat. Um, we work across the National Diabetes Programme in England um, and the NHS Improvement Programme, but we also work with multiple um, academic uh, organisations and uh, NHS organisations and community organisations too. Um, DigiBeat has... Um, you know, had quite a large impact already. So we've got 158,000 users. Um, we've got 216 diabetes clinics using the app. So what's important to understand about DigiBeat is it's it's not just something that people download. It's prescribed by the clinic. So it's a it's a prescription app, if you like. Uh, the clinics run the app for their service and personalize the app uh, with all their clinical information, their booklets, their leaflets, and things like that their important information documents, their, their clinic numbers, um, and healthcare professionals. So, I, you know, I was listening to the call yesterday and realizing we're in the early stages over in India, I think, of developing the pediatric diabetes clinics, but effectively these are run out of those clinics. Um, so we have, uh, but, but all supported by, by the, uh, um, the DigiBeat infrastructure. So we have over 300 resources ourselves that support and plug the gaps, really, for those uh, those communities. And, and, and it's available 24 seven when they need it in the middle of the night um, to provide different parts of the diabetes education care. Um, so I'm going to play you just a, um, a quick one minute uh, video. Um, but actually, I'm, if you don't mind, I'm just going to stop the share and reshare because I realize that I might just need to tick that share the sound box. So um, there we go. So I'll very quickly play you this, um, which will just give some context to DigiBeat. The multi-award winning and free DigiBeat app have been created specifically for children and young people with type 1 diabetes and their families. Our community-led clinically approved resources promote better self-management and can be accessed 24-7 to improve care. DigiBeat have created hundreds of resources with multi-language functionality, providing awareness, education, training and support for patients, families, their communities and healthcare professionals. The DigiBeat app grows with patients by tailoring resources by age and is a vital self-management communication tool, enabling the delivery of advice and resources from local diabetes teams direct to patients' smartphones or tablets. Store insulin ratios, school healthcare plans, record future health appointments and receive ongoing structured education and so much more. Type 1 Care in your pocket. For more information, visit digibeat.org today. So the big question really, even, even in the UK, is how do we scale out good? What does good care look like? And how do we make sure that everybody gets access to some of it, um, to the fundamentals, to the essential care films to keep you well live whilst living with diabetes? And we have variances in care. And when we started this a few years ago, the variability was more. And I think it's getting better as we as we move on in terms of standardising. But DigiBeat's there to to standardise what you know what what good care looks like, and to help um, all families receive some of that good care in digital formats to complement anything they get in the uh, at their diabetes teams. So we're not replacing care, but we're complementing care, and we're providing that care in the middle of the night and, um, you know, weekends and um, when people can't get hold of their diabetes teams. Um, so we're an age and culturally appropriate resource. Um, we are multilingual. Um, we have uh, 10 languages that you can actually, all the essential films are now in 10 languages and you can access that free to use yourselves. Um, please do use it. It's it out there so this is the website here digibeat.org um, and so if you're in your diabetes clinics and you need to you've got other languages and you need to use that please do you can also turn the site um, uh, into 99 languages as well so it translates the site into 99 languages so all the written documents all the care documents is in 99 languages 
Um, and I think, uh, you know, we, we embarked on a, a big mission, really, at the beginning of COVID, which was to make sure that everybody had not just the website, but the availability of the diabetes of the DigiB app, which that tailors all the all the support via age. So as you grow up with diabetes, you have different issues, don't you? different things you need to be able to support with. So going into puberty and transitioning into adult care, for example, going to secondary school. And we've heard about school um, issues today. And sadly, it's the same in the UK. There's been lots of issues with schools in the UK as well. And we've done lots of work on the website. So please use those free resources if they help, maybe help structure things, um, uh, you know, um, so we've so our, our study was commissioned at the beginning of COVID. We've done um, we've we've sort of onboarded twenty one thousand patients in the last two years onto our DigiB app, um, and uh, through the app they've watched about eighty two thousand um, uh, videos, and and there's been three hundred sixty three hours of training for healthcare professionals. Um, so we train the healthcare professionals how to use it, and effectively we're digitalizing their service. And why would we want to do that? Well, the biggest thing is efficiency saving. So it's looking at how we can scale out support to the thousands of people that need it. Um, and, uh, you know, this may be something that we could um, take some conversations with uh, with India and how we can support that. Um, out of the, um, uh, the all the patients surveyed, which is over a thousand patients, four out of five would recommend the app and 90 uh, way to the app, sorry, four out of five and 96 percent of healthcare professionals recommending the app to their colleagues and saying, get on board with the app and commission, it, you know, have it in your service. So the app was commissioned centrally by NHS England. It's funded free for all children and young people and their families in England and Wales. And we've really seen a massive use of the app over the over the last couple of years. Um, and you can see that through the poster. We'll be presenting this at IDF as well, um, if anybody's there. So, um, you know, in terms in terms of the uh, um, the language resources, please go onto the app. You can see the essentials tab there, and you can choose your language um, on the app. We have lots of different types of resources. I'm not going to play this because we don't think we have an awful lot of time today. But we have, you know, um, animated explainers of what is type one diabetes, signs and symptoms. We have a page dedicated to awareness um, as well for the community. So the the platform is like the community support platform, um, and the app is for the individual self management. Um, and that's about good care reminders. What is um, we have new uh, resources as well, um, always uh, you know appearing within the app. Um, and this is where you can see the sort of different preferred languages you can choose. And we've now got our app in in ten different languages, and we're developing the languages um, at speed um, to cover all the different resources. And you can record your time and range in the app, for example. Um, you can do age appropriate quizzes, and the clinicians can see what's structured education that you have done. So there's, there's lots of data um, that the um, healthcare professionals can see in terms of where the gaps are. Um, we want to make every minute in clinic matter um, with games and quizzes. We want to learn together as a family. We want people to be able to share this with their family. Um, so we're creating games and, uh, and other animations. Um, but we've also got lots of real life stories on the app as well um, and patient stories. Um, and really, it's just enabling that to be available whenever people need it. You can record your ratios in the app, too, um, and all your diabetes information. Um, so healthcare professional feedback has been very good. Um, you know, people have talked about how they believe it's the best resource available to families. Fantastic information at fingertips. And it's my number one place to go to direct families to all things diabetes related and helps me with my job almost every day. I can't imagine work without it. And similarly, from a patient, even five years into their journey, if only just found this resource, but it made them uh, take a deep sigh of positive relief. I'm writing this on the day of a diabetes appointment. And for the first time, I'm looking forward to seeing my consultant armed with my app and my notes on what I want to discuss. And that's what it's all about. It's about helping families. Um, it's a massive thing in terms of organisation as well, receiving a diabetes diagnosis. How can we support people at home? So we have 35 clinics now, 100% as well. Um, and, uh, you know, these are some of the most deprived areas of England and Wales. Um, that we've got um, people on, we've onboarding Scotland too. Um, and really, you know, healthcare professionals, again, saying it's a really excellent app for young people. It's like having a diabetes specialist on your phone in your pocket. This is the personalization of the app. So sick day rules and everything goes in the app multicultural resources that we're developing with Salma. Um, so um, uh, cultural festival resources, helping people understand, uh, you know, what they need to do um, whilst living with diabetes and, and living for a full life with diabetes. 
And we have lots of different resources available for young people as well, preparing them for adulthood. Um, and uh, this is an app that can stay with them and they can stay uh, logged into it for as long as they need it, really. Um, so it's all about organising diabetes information, cost-free support, um, improving patient experience and uh, really enabling everybody to have some good care available to them. Um, and we have lots of stats and uh, we, we collect lots of information so that uh, teams can see what good looks like. So I'm going to just finish there and say thank you very much.